Now that you have decided to be dual enrolled at APSU for at least one of your high school classes, the first step is to apply for admission. You should already be at the Go Sooner homepage, where you will find everything you need about dual enrollment. Let's get started. First, click on the Apply for Admission button near the center of the page. If you haven't already, print a copy of the checklist for your records. The checklist can be found right here. Select the checklist that matches your situation. You might also want to jot down any usernames and passwords on your checklist for a handy reference later. Begin by clicking on the link to Application for Admission, the first item on the list of links. It's important this step be done early. Without this online application, none of the other documents you submit will be processed. You are now on the page from the Office of Admissions. Go under Non-Degree Seeking and click Dual Enrollment Applicant. You have to create a login ID and PIN as instructed, then log in. Be sure to keep this login and PIN for future use. Remember, dual enrollment students do not pay the $15 application fee, but you must select the correct application type. Bring up the list of options and select Joint Dual Early New. Then click Continue to proceed. This tells the system that you are a dual enrollment student, sends your application to the right people, and waives the $15 fee. Next is the term of enrollment. Again, bring up the list of options and select the correct term. Austin P has eight week terms at the Fort Campbell Center and traditional semesters on the main campus. It's important you select the term you plan to enroll for. If you're not sure, contact us. Add your first name and last name. Then click fill out application to proceed. Here's the online application checklist. Simply click on the first item, Name, to begin. If you need to stop and finish later, you can save your work and come back to it with your login, ID, and PIN. The first checklist page is Name, and there are instructions at the top about navigating the application screens. And notice the red stars? Those are required fields. You will get error messages if you skip over these questions. As a new dual enrollment student, you will answer no to previously attended and previous application. Just click continue to move to the next screen. Checklist items number two and number three are for your address and phone. The first and second addresses can be the same and probably are in most cases. Use the drop-down box to go down and find your county of residence. Then click Continue. Item number four gives us some of your personal contact information. Email is how we communicate with you. It's really important that we have an email address that you check regularly. Please include your social security number, 
This particular application doesn't actually require it, but we do need it for other things and it will prevent delays in your class registration later. The fifth step asks you about your planned course of study. Dual enrollment students should select undecided. When you click the continue button, the next screen asks you for a concentration. We recommend that you choose general studies here. As a dual enrollment student, we don't need to know your intended major, but these selections will let you move forward to the next steps. Next is contact information for your parents. None of this is required, but it's very helpful for us. Also, if you want your parents to have access to your information and be able to talk to the business office or other places on campus, we will also need a completed FERPA privacy release form. That link is back on the GoSooner webpage with the other printable forms. Item number seven. Item number seven asks about your high school. The only thing required is the high school code. Just click on look up high school code and click through to your high school. Don't forget to put your graduation date. You may not know the exact date, just put in something close such as June 1st, 2017. The next screen asks about your activities. You can skip this step completely. Just click continue. A couple of additional questions here. You're almost done. We need this information to confirm your lottery grant money accurately. Answer the questions and click continue. Here's the online checklist again. It should show all of the items checked. If not, click on the item and make sure it's complete. Click Application Complete. But wait, you're not quite done. Now that you've completed all of the selections, you are ready to submit. But you must agree to the terms on the screen. Click on I agree to the terms to fully complete your application and get it into the processing queue. Finally, here is the signature page. If you are seeing this, you know that your application has been submitted properly. There are a few reminders about the other things you need to submit here and how to contact us. Now item number one on your dual enrollment checklist can be checked off. Go ahead and get started on the other items. Remember, we're here to answer your questions, get familiar with the links and resources on the GoSooner web pages, and let us know if you have any questions. Welcome to Austin P.